and they are being followed by the Channel View High School Band. And Mr. Audio Man, let's pick up a little of that band music. And with the playing of silver taps by the members of the Smiley High School Band, and the and annual ceremonies of laying the wreath now come to a close. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your attention is called back to the official's platform here, where a time capsule is going to be buried right at the base of the monument. This time capsule, sponsored by television station KHOU-TV, contains documents of these times, letters from the public at large. These letters were invited by KHOU television over several weeks. And the time capsule is to be placed down under an appropriate monument. The time capsule is not to be opened until the year 2036. present Mr. James D. Richdale, Jr., Vice President, General Manager of KHOU-TV, whose magnificent cooperation has helped make the time capsule possible, Mr. Richdale. Thank you, Mr. Richdale. Now, of all, of all of those who will gather here with me in one of the most sacred and outstanding events to take place in our time, in lowering this capsule into this concrete. Governor Daniel, Mr. Fellow Rogers, Mr. Moore, Mr. Richdale, and Hank. I don't know how we're going to do this, but uh, I'll just get over on this. Well. Thank you. Ms. Hagen, you come to one end, Ms. Wilcox on the other. Ms. Wilcox, come around this end, please. KHOU Television also made brief remarks, and in a moment, Governor Daniel will make a short address to the crowd gathered here at the famed San Jacinto Monument. A lot of youngsters wanting to crowd around that time capsule. All right, Mr. Sellers, Rogers, State President of the Sons of the Republic of Texas, Ms. John Wilcox, President of the Sons of the Republic of Daughters of the Republic of Texas, Mr. Jim Rickdale of KHOU-TV, you have just met. Mrs. H. Raymond Hagen, President of the State Organization of the Daughters of the Republic of Texas, And the great granddaughter of General Sam Houston and the wife of our governor, Mrs. Price Stanton. Uh, 
Adjutant General K. L. Berry, the National Guard. And Texas State Ambassador of Goodwill, Mr. and Mrs. Bill Daniels. Queen Marilyn of the House of Livingston, it gives me great pleasure to crown you now Queen of San Jacinto Day. We hope to have that young lady over to our KHOU television microphone in a few minutes for a special interview. Mr. Harvin Moore is back at the microphone now, however. How about that? that all right? Well, they are going to take time out to allow the cameramen to get their picture shot. The divers will be Horace Congor from Texas City, Texas, Clyde Jacks from Galveston, Gus and Augustus from Galveston, and the pilot will be Platt Thompson of Houston. These are representatives from the Houston Parachuting Center. And this crowd of a number of thousand here at the San Jacinto Battlegrounds now turning their heads skyward, looking for the skydivers to make their approach. A very dangerous assignment for these parachutists to make a time jump. That is, they do not pull the ripcord immediately after leaving the plane. The ripcord is not pulled until 15 or 20 seconds after these parachutists leave the plane. And the jump is going to be made almost within the shadow of the San Jacinto Monument itself. This magnificent structure which stands 572 feet above the South Texas Coastal Plain. Most of the crowd moving over now to the side of the monument, that would be the northeast side, into which the parachutists, the special skydivers, are to make their sky leap. The Smiley High School Band continues to play in the background as they have most of the afternoon, the official band of this San Jacinto Day celebration, the Smiley High School group. And this year we had a princess selection. Let's see, how many? 31 young ladies, weren't there? Yes, sir. 31 young ladies representing the many flags of Texas, and your flag was what, Marilyn? The Days of Allah flag. Well, can you give us a little bit of history on the Days of Allah flag? It was the first original flag of the Republic of Texas, and it was designed by General Lorenzo De Zavala. And thus the name, the flag of De, Z yes, De Zavala, who was the first vice president of the state of Texas, the Republic of Texas at that time. Now, is this the flag that General Sam Houston and his troops had on the day of San Jacinto? Uh, I don't believe so. They probably were flying the regular Lone Star flag at that time. Well, Marilyn, uh, tell us something about your own heritage and how it connects with San Jacinto Day. Well, I was chosen from the independent school district of Galena Park, and I really don't know how, but I'm just <laughs> thrilled that I was. Well, I can tell you how. There was a special uh, group of judges who viewed all the princesses who were in the parade and uh, watched the cars that brought you in come yeah. by. and. Uh, they chose you out of the group as most representative of the kind of girl that Texans are proud of. Well, I'm very grateful. Marilyn, we're certainly very grateful for you coming over and give us a few moments. At the base of the monument right now, the honor guard from the second defender group of the Texas State National Guard and passing by in the first car of the parade, the big white car with the whip aerials from the back, the governor of the state of Texas, the Honorable Price Daniel. You'll see Governor Daniel and his brother Bill Daniel get out of the first automobile in the second car of the Texas Department of Public Safety. There are the ladies of the governor's party, including Mrs. Price Daniel, the wife of the governor. His sister Ella also is in that party of ladies. The reviewing stand across the way will be the scene of ceremonies a little bit later on in the afternoon, but right now, our major attention is centered on the parade, which is just now getting started, with the governor's automobile the very first to arrive. It's a beautiful day out here at the battlegrounds, just a little bit on the windy side, but actually that wind takes a little bit of the scorch off of the heat. Not a real scorching day at that, though, by general Texas standards. Temperature in the 80s, the very low 80s. Fairly good cloud cover out here, but certainly no threat of rain whatsoever. 
A lot of fine folks still arriving for the parade, and I'd like to remind you people at home, you're probably right within driving distance of the famed San Jacinto Monument, and there'll be San Jacinto Day activities and ceremonies going on throughout this afternoon. So if you're so inclined, well, come on out. If not, we'll sit right there in your living room and take it all in on Channel 11. fighter craft from the Air National Guard out at Ellington Field during the first of what will be several flyovers the parade during its progress this afternoon. As we told you just passing by a moment ago with headgear which looks a lot like the French Legionnaires or the Stephen F. Austin High School of Houston ROTC Legionnaires. They have now done an about face to the rear march for those of you who want to be absolutely technical about it, and they're now presenting their arms before the reviewing stand. We will, of course, as the afternoon goes along, identify those persons on the official reviewing stand for you. And in the background, perhaps you can hear the first strands of music from the many bands that are going to parade here around the base of the San Jacinto Monument this afternoon. For those of you who may have tuned in just a bit late, this is the Channel 11 television coverage of all the festivities and ceremonies at the Texas San Jacinto Day. This is, marks the 124th year of the day that General Sam Houston and his Texas Army surprised the Mexican Army of Santa defeated the Mexicans, and thus gave Texas its independence back in 1836. Colonel Lon Estes, who is president of the Houston chapter of the Reserve Officers Association, is going to present a trophy to members of the Austin Senior High School ROTC Legionnaires Drill Team for finishing first in the 11th Annual Reserve Officers Drill Competition, which was held last Wednesday out at the University of Houston. Cadet Lieutenant Colonel John Green, the drill team commander, and Miss Pat Ellisar, sponsor of this Stephen F. Austin drill team, received the trophy on behalf of the team. And now the team is giving a demonstration of the kind of close order drill that won them that trophy. Other ROTC units from the Houston Gulf Coast area will be taking part in our parade this afternoon as time goes along. The Houston Shamrock Squadron of the Civil Air Patrol just passing by in their Air Force style uniforms with the flag of the Civil Air Patrol out front. And they are being followed by the Channel View High School Band. Which is a way of saying, I don't know exactly who these people are. Oh, I see. This is the Pasadena trail or Saltgrass Trail Riders. Well, certainly add a good touch of color to our parade. Certainly all of those horses and the western attire of the young ladies and gentlemen riding in this and the older folks, reminiscent of the days back in 1836 when Texas independence was won on this site. And lends a real air of authenticity to these ceremonies. Well, if there's kiddies around the television set at your home, get a load of the clown here on the donkey. <laughs> Live it up, bozo. That, ladies and gentlemen, brings you to a close, brings to a close the parade around the base of the San Jacinto Monument and the crowd now responding 